Hey guys, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Xbox One with the Day One patch with just a USB drive. So obviously you want to download um, the patch beforehand, and then load it onto USB, and then um, plug it into your Xbox One that arrives on Friday, and update there. That way you won't ha be hit with, um, you know, <clears throat> network issues. It's kind of like how I did the video on how to update your PS4 for day one by prepping it beforehand. Uh, so this is the same way. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is go to support.xbox.com slash en dash capital US slash Xbox dash one slash system slash emergency dash offline dash update. I'll leave the link in the description bar below and you'll see that it says step one <clears throat> on your Xbox One. It's a little more complicated than doing it on PS4 but uh, this is how you'll do it. You'll first need to know which OS version you're currently running in order to download the correct system update. So it'll walk you through. Um, you need to find your Xbox One console's OS version. So you're going to Press the Xbox button to return to home. Press the menu button and select settings or select settings on the home screen. Select system, select console info, and then your OS version is in the third row down, okay? Step two, plug in your USB drive into your computer USB port, okay? You will need a USB drive with at least two gigabytes of space, so format the USB as a NTF. S um, um, drive. Um, then you'll need to select the correct OS version to be able to install properly. So there will be two versions 6.2.9781.0. Uh, it will be right here. And then there will be another, another version which is 6.2.10210.0, which is the second one over here. So you're going to download whichever one <clears throat> that you saw in your OS in step one on your Xbox One, okay? <clears throat> then you're gonna click save, you're gonna unzip the file, okay? Then you're gonna copy the contents directly into the root, that's the root, that's the main uh, folder of your flash drive, okay? And then you'll unplug the flash drive. <clears throat> so, step three, last part, on your Xbox One, unplug the network cable if you're using a wired network connection, so make sure that Ethernet port is completely unplugged. Um, power off your console and then unplug the power cord to ensure that the console is completely powered off. Wait 30 seconds, so time this or count 30 seconds out. Plug the power cord back in, plug the flash drive that you just dump the files onto into the USB port on the Xbox One. There will be one USB port on the side or a bunch on the back. Okay, then you'll press and hold the bind and eject buttons and then press power on. Continue holding the bind and eject buttons for 10 to 15 seconds. Listen for two power up tones a couple of seconds apart. It says note, if you don't hear two power up tones after text 10 seconds, it means this failed. Likewise, if you hear any power down chirps, that also means this failed. Yikes, this sounds like it could be tricky. Then you can release the bind and eject buttons <clears throat> after the second power up tone. When the console restarts, remove the USB. Step 11. Once the console restarts, the update is complete and you should be returned to your experience. And then it says, note, the console restart may take several minutes. Okay, and then of course it goes into the buttons and beeps. Um, so this does sound a little more complicated than your update for the PS4 for day one, but um, if you want to save yourself some hassle from the millions of gamers who will be downloading at the same exact time, which could ruin your day one experience, you best download this ahead of time. So you know what? I would advise you just to download both files and then use whichever one uh, you have ready uh, for your Xbox One. That way you don't have to wait for your Xbox One to check the OS uh, version and then, you know, then go download it. 
So download both of them now, two days before Xbox One launches, and then you'll be prepared. So you follow all these directions. I'll leave the link in the description bar below again. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and a favorite. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.